They proved popular and controversial. After a months-long pilot program last year, city leaders are still trying to decide whether e-bikes and scooters will have a permanent place in Lakewood. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg found out what they're considering. As for the availability of e-scooters, it really is a tale of two cities here on the west side. In Cleveland, you can find them on pretty much every street corner, but if you go across the street into Lakewood, you won't. That's because the city is still reviewing it. These days, finding a way around town can be like finding water in the rain. Trucks, cars, buses, and bikes, and your own two feet. But in Lakewood, there's a question. Is there room? I think it's the best for a few more. To be honest, I think that they're more of a headache than they are of use. In 2022, Lakewood rolled out a pilot program for e-bikes and scooters. City officials say a limited rollout of 90 devices at 12 stations provided valuable insight while limiting any potential growing pains. Whether they come rolling back is still unsettled. So too is whether residents want them back. With the current layout of the streets and everything, I think they're dangerous to ride on the sidewalks and uh, a lot of people ride them in the streets and they don't follow the street traffic rules. So they're dangerous for the people on the scooters when they're on the streets. The city just has to understand to build more business, just like, you know, you grab, you live in your job right now or you are on the lounge and you go into Dave's, you go into supermarket, you go into anything. I think it's the best way to do it. In just a few months, city officials say more than 11,000 rides were tallied. But those rides didn't come without consternation. As News 5 previously reported, some businesses objected to where the devices were stationed and the trip hazards that they created. Users were also expected to follow the rules of the road. But Melissa McWilliams, it's a nuisance, saw the hazards firsthand. Personally, I've had interactions. She actually got knocked down when she was three by somebody on the sidewalk. You know, we're just walking and they decide to go as fast as possible, having fun. We had proper bike lanes, proper things for them to travel on. They'd be fine, but they're dangerous otherwise. Although city officials were pleased with the results of the pilot program, there is no guarantee that it comes back and there's no certainty that there will be room for a few more ways to get around. People just, they're, they're not responsible as much as we want them to be. <laughs> In Lakewood, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.